Hello, baseball fans and fans of Stratomatic Baseball, particularly and particularly of the Elmwood League, which I am a member of. Today, we're going to give you another update. We are, at least my team is at game 49 of the season, so we're going to take a look at where I am. As you know, I am the Providence Grays, and we are right here, last place in our division. With a 19 and 30 record, and there is a definite reason for that. And uh, the definite reason is underperformance of mainly the pitching staff. And so we will take a look at it, and we'll even compare um, this year to last year. Now, let's take a quick look at last year. Um, as you can recall, I finished third in the division last year, but only one game out of the playoffs. And with a 90 and 72 record. And um, as you can see, this year I am on a pace to get nowhere near 90 wins. So uh, let's take a look at some of the stats for the team. Now, here's the batting stats. Um, let me move myself up here, I guess. Um, for right now. So you can see, um, I. Really hitting, I can't complain too much about the hitting. Now, we, we can complain a little bit about El Tuve. El Tuve's hitting 294 and he has like a 390 on base percentage for me, which is good. But he only has three home runs so far. Um, and last year, he hit, um, he actually hit 17 home runs. With three so far, he's only on a pace to hit 10. And not only did he hit 17 last year, but I could play him all year if the injury doesn't um, curtail his playing time. And so far, it hasn't done that um, to a great degree. He's played 47 of our 49 games. But um, if he had played a full year last year, instead of 17 home runs, he actually would have had like 23. So the card should reflect like a 23 home run card. And yet he only has three. Now I guess that's a minor complaint since he is hitting 294 and he is getting on base and he is stealing bases. He has 10 steals in 12 attempts. So it's probably a minor complaint if you look at some of the other. Now Garver is currently injured for me, uh, but he is hitting 356 in 45 at bats. Uh, Khan is hitting 291. I really can't complain about that. Uh, Harper's hitting 291. You really can't complain about that. And he has seven home runs. Um, Kyle Farmer is hitting 282. And Kyle Farmer, it's kind of uh, crazy because versus righty so far, Farmer is, and I think we can look this up, right? Um, he is hitting versus righties. He's hitting. 271 uh, currently with a 319 on base percentage. And that's really crazy because uh, Kyle Farmer's card, if we go look at Kyle Farmer's card, um, oh no, I guess I can't do that here. But anyway, um, the, uh, I mean, he, it, if you look at his card versus righties, there's no way he should be hitting that well, but he is. So again, you know, there's only minor complaints I can make about this hitting. Now, Goldschmidt is hitting 244. I can complain about that. He hit, really, in real life, he hit about 268. He's only hitting 244. And uh, somehow, he does have 26 RBIs. Um, I don't know how with the bad peripheral stats that he has, but he does. Uh, he, he does have that number of uh, RBIs. So, and I have actually, last week I sat him because he was doing so poorly, and I opted for a different alignment, but um, uh, so injuries hit and, you know, kind of curtailed um, playing time for a lot of guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, I really can't complain too bad about the, uh, about the offense so far. Now we come to the pitching. Now the pitching I can complain about because, um, I mean, you can see Deekman is doing well out of the bullpen for me. Jimenez is doing well out of the bullpen. Graveman is doing well out of the bullpen. 
Baker is a part-year guy. He's doing okay, but he's a part-year guy, and he's limited only to 35 innings. I've already got him at 21, so I had to slow him down a little bit. Yarbrough is pitching well, and I have him starting because he's actually a better starter than some of these other guys are. And Hendricks is also doing well, um, especially for his card because he's a righty. He's a reverse righty. He's a righty who's better against lefties, which isn't really uh, advantageous. But then you get into the problems. Verlander has a 469 earned run average for me. He's 3 and 4 with a 469. Tim Miza in the bullpen. He had a one he had one like a 198 earned run average in real life and he has a 527 earned run average for me. Castillo, Luis Castillo has a 574 earned run average for me and he's 4 and 5. Jason Adam has a 584 earned run average. He's 0 and 2 out of the bullpen with a 584. Presley has a 623 earned run average out of the bullpen. And uh, so you know, and uh, the rest of these guys you can understand, but um, but these guys right here, from Verlander to Presley, is where uh, the bulk of my problem lies. Now, if we compare that to 2022. And, um, and again, here is, I'll just remind you what the standings were last year. And we'll take a look at the standings again overall for everybody um, in 2023. But just to remind you what the standings were and the fact that I won 90 games last year. But let's look at the, uh, and the hitting, you know, really, this hitting last year was probably no better um, and no worse. You know, Ward, is, Ward hit 242 for me. And right now he's hitting like 238, something like that. And uh, El Tuve hit 284, and that's roughly what he's hitting right now. Or two, he's hitting 298 or something like that. So, and Harper hit 291, which you would expect. So the hitting wasn't really the thing last year. But look at the pitching. Last year, Adam had a 140 earned run average. Verlander had a 216. Now, granted, Verlander had a much better card last year. He had probably the best starting card in the set last year. And he doesn't this year. His card is not as good, but it shouldn't be as he shouldn't be pitching as poorly as he is. Um, Baker had a 291. Cueto had a 308, but he only well, yeah, no, actually he pitched quite well, but he didn't have a full year card, so I had to cut him. He didn't, in fact, he didn't come close. Jimenez had a 330. Presley had a 333. Hendricks had a 336. Uh, Bass had a 338. Castillo had a 385. Even a Tyler Anderson only had a 401 earned run average, which wasn't bad. And even um, Taylor Hearn, I had him last year. I don't have him this year but um, because he didn't pitch very much. Um, but. He had a bad card, but he had a 415 earned run average for me. So he really overproduced for me last year. And so we go back to 2023. Now here we'll take a look at all of the standings here so you can get a good look. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm 19 and 30 because I mainly because I have like three relief pitchers who are terrible, who should be good, and I have two starters who are way worse than they should be. And so we are approaching a uh, we're approach, approaching a day of reckoning in Providence, where I may have to decide that I'm going to trade uh, some guys, um, and uh, and whether you know and who those are going to be. Now I have decided that um, I will definitely trade. I think I'm definitely going to trade uh, Garver. Um, but I'm going to wait till his injury clears up, and then we'll see who wants Garber. Uh, and b beyond that, I'm still on the fence. Verlander's a possibility because in real life, Verlander isn't pitching all that great. Um, so if he continues to falter, I might trade Verlander. But most of the other guys, you know, I mean, if we look at my roster, and if you look at some of these guys in real life, uh, El Tuve is having a great year, so I'm not going to trade him because I would have potentially another great El Tuve next year. Kana is having a very good year. I don't see myself trading him. Harper, not trading him. 
Um, a farmer I could trade, but nobody really would want him. Um, Michael Taylor not trading him. He's always a gold glove uh, center fielder. Even if he doesn't hit, he's got his use in that um, aspect. Uh, Jeffers, I'm not trading. He's a good hitting catcher. <clears throat> now, he is another guy. He actually should be doing a lot better than this. Um, he, let's see what his... His on base for me is only 317. He's hitting 246 overall with a 317 on base. So he really should be doing a lot better than he is, and he's not. But he is hitting really well in, in real life again, and so I'm not trading him. Uh, Goldschmidt I might trade, but I don't know who would want Goldschmidt because he's doing terrible in real life, and he's doing this for me. Um, Taylor Ward, not going to trade him. Rooker, definitely not going to trade him. Rooker is having a hell of a year in real life. Better than he did last year, and last year he made the All-Star team. Um, so, and Jock Peterson, even Jock Peterson is having a great year in real life. It's, it's crazy. So, you know, there's a lot of guys there I can't trade. You know, Garver is the only possibility I see. Uh, Tyler Anderson, come down to the pitching. Tyler Anderson, he's having a good year in real life. He hasn't pitched for me here because he had a terrible card and a terrible year last year. But in real life, so far for the Angels, he's pitching quite well. Paul Blackburn, having a pretty good year for the A's. So I'm not going to trade him. Um, Diekman is having a great year. Jimenez is having a great year. Um... Graveman and Baker aren't pitching. They're not in the majors or something injured, maybe. Something's going on with those guys. Um, Hendricks is terrible. He's having a terrible year in real life. Uh, so he's a possibility. Maybe I trade Hendricks, but again, who's going to want a reverse righty? I don't know. Um, but Miza, well, Miza in real life is kind of like, uh, let's see, is he on my list? No, he's not on my list. He's actually not doing well, but um, I need relief innings, so I would have to get relief innings back if I traded by the, uh Ranger Suarez. Ranger Suarez in real life having a great having a great year, so I'm not trading him. Luis Castillo in real life, he's having a great year, but then again, last year he did too, and he has a 574 earned run average for me. Jason Adam in real life again, he's a great relief reliever like he usually is and then Presley I don't he's not having a really great year so he that, but again I need relief innings so I would have to get relief innings back if I traded any reliever really but some of these guys are too good to trade anyway so so it looks like it, it, uh, really I would boil it down to um, we are looking at possibly trading uh, and let me move myself over here a little bit. We're looking at possibly trading Verlander, maybe, but I want to see another couple of starts from him in real life, and uh, possibly Garber uh, to somebody. That's the only two guys I see really trading that anybody would want. Um, and so that is it's going to... It's going to be decisions that I'm going to have to make over the next couple of weeks with this team because obviously, you know, if you look, we uh, we are not going to contend. And another thing is uh, I have traded some picks to get some of these guys like Garver and Rooker and stuff, but I still have my first pick in the draft. And to remind everybody, the first pick in the Elmwood draft is always a 10-year contract. You have the guy for 10 years. So I still have that um, that I can use. And like you can see, I've got a lot of guys who are having a great real-life league so far uh, in real life, the real-life stats. So, <clears throat> um, again, potentially I'm set up for next year, but it really this, it, you know, the team should have been better than this this year. And I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, that is my Elmwood League update, and uh, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.